Dry shampoo has become a staple in many bathrooms over the last decade. If you're unsure what it is, it actually helps absorb odors and oils in between washing your hair. So it's not actually a shampoo that you would clean your hair with. And this comes in handy because if you're like me, you don't wanna wash your hair every day and this will keep your hair looking clean. But as I explained to you with lipsticks and mascaras, not all dry shampoos are created the same. So one ingredient I say to really look out for is talcum powder. And this is because talcum powder has shown to have trace amounts of asbestos in it, which has been linked to cancer. So definitely look out for that. It's also in other makeups, not just dry shampoo. Something else I say to avoid is using dry shampoos that are aerosols because a study came out a few years ago showing that aerosols are actually a big contributor to air pollution. And also you, most of those dry shampoos have more chemicals in them. It's just not something that we wanna be breathing in or putting on our scalp on a weekly basis. But luckily I have some non-toxic versions here. The first one is by a company called, by a cure. And the second one is by a company called Primally Pure. Both of these are made with organic ingredients Ingredients. They actually list the ingredients on their bottle, which is a huge plus because the cosmetic industry is not required to list their ingredients. So if they're showing them, I always say that's a good sign. And they even use essential oils for the smell, so there's no synthetic fragrances. Love both of those, they're both great. But if you really wanna save some money, you can easily make dry shampoo yourself. What I do is I just use a little bit of arrowroot, and since I have darker hair, I'll even add in some cacao powder and then just some essential oils to make it smell good. I really love to use rose for that. And you're done. Super simple. I keep it in a, a little jar with an airtight container and it lasts me actually for a few months. Now to get this recipe and all this information, you can go to abc10.com slash meg.